Ancient centipedes, the mechanical insectoids of Don't Starve Together, everyone. They are big, quite fast, and are the guardians of some of the best content this game has to offer. So, we best know how to actually handle them, right? Right. From ancient switches to some pesky blue orbs, let's get right to that. But, to even encounter these metal bugs, we have got some work to do. Not least of all being the fact that we need to actually find the ancient archive first. One of Don't Starve Together's newest biomes, mind you. First introduced in the Forgotten Knowledge update itself, the archives will always be connected to the Lunar Grotto biome which in turn is always past our blue mush tree forests, so make note there. The thing is, however, that's the easy part. For you see, nothing within the ancient archive is actually active until you yourself activate it. And by quote unquote it, I mean the entire biome itself. And to do so requires this thing, the archive switch. And the only thing that activates the archive switch is a third and final iridescent gem. So the problem, an iridescent gem only comes from deconstructing a moon caller staff. But a moon caller staff only comes from transforming a star caller staff into one via the moonstone events, which also can only be done on a full moon night. Yup, it's a whole thing. But perhaps refrain from activating the archives here for a minute. Cause here's the deal. No power to the biome means no power to the centripedes. And no power to the centripedes gives us a huge advantage. For you see, while they are in their husk state, they can still be damaged and drop down to a mere 45 health. And while we may be incapable of actually fully destroying them, this is still advised to do. Why? Well, they will only heal for one health every second, giving you tons of time to run about an activated ancient archive with no trouble. So take note. But Beard, what do you mean? How do centipedes actually activate then? Ah, yes. Recall those pesky blue orbs I mentioned? They are called security pulses, and they come from one of the many ancient guard posts found within the ancient archive. And their job is to float around in search of an empty or unpowered centipede and give them life, essentially. The thing is, though, if a sentry husk has been damaged enough, these security pulses cannot do a thing to help them. Ah, I think you now see it, folks. You get why not activating the archive straight away could be very beneficial. But let's say you do miss one or forget to keep damaging the husks, and a pulse does actually activate one of these things. What then? Well, murder. And what's better than that? Ancient centripedes here have 1200 health, deal 40 damage a hit, and even have an area of effect slam attack that not only deals 20 damage to those around them, but also hurts them too. Oh, and they have a rolling ranged attack if you get too far away from them, but sticking close during combat will completely negate it. And when it does come to actually cutting these things, the pattern is very simple actually. Bait out their normal melee attack, bait out their slam attack that always follows that melee, get two to three hits in yourself when they actually turn away from you, and just repeat until they're dead. Pretty easy. But a couple last notes here already, folks. Centripedes are the type of mobs that don't really like to travel far from their original spawn points, and will actually try to return to them even if you're in the middle of fighting them at times. It's sort of strange, and I do suppose though, you could use this to your advantage if you truly cannot be bothered to fight them, so there's that I suppose. Oh, and you should also know that, unfortunately, centripedes themselves don't actually drop any loot at all. So there's that too. But lastly, when you are indeed fighting two or more of the metallic mechanicals, know that both their rolling attack and area of effect ones will be able to damage each other too. So just use one to kill the other perhaps. Good luck. And there you have everyone, a very quick look at centripedes within Don't Starve Together. 
Not too much to them, sure, but they are still some really neat additions to the game in my opinion. And my advice is to damage their husks first, activate the archives, keep the husks damaged as much as possible, and then go about your business with either the ancient orchestrina here or otherwise. But enjoy. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Don't get rolled. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.